Hello and welcome. This is Pankaj Dube, and uh, in this session we are going to talk about software development life cycle. So we'll see what is software development life cycle. Basically, software development life cycle are the different different phases that comes between the starting or the initiation of a project to till the completion of a software project. Okay, so there so there may be different different steps as per the different different company as they customize their process of uh, software development life cycle. But we'll discuss here a standard. Uh, phases, a standard list of phases that generally most of the people or the poly, uh, or the models follow. Okay, so first of the things that comes under the SDLC phase is requirement analysis. So what generally happens under this phase? Requirement analysis is a phase where stakeholders uh, ask uh, a business re business analyst person to list on their requirements. That what are the those requirements that the stakeholder wants to deliver uh, in their project. Okay, so once a requirement has been gathered, the requirement analysis step will also contain one more activity where they'll filter out the activities where they'll filter out the requirements, and they'll make a document called SRS or BRD. SRS stands for Software Requirement Specification, and BRD stands for Business Requirement Document. So this is something which will be done under requirement analysis, which is the first phase of SDLC. In next phase. Is called project planning. So, in project planning, what happens generally? They decide the model in which model they need to uh, work on. Like there are different different SDLC, uh, SDLC models: waterfall, spiral, prototype, agile, V, and W models. So, they decide their model in which model they will have to work, and what are the risk, and what is the scope, what is the entry criteria, what is the exit criteria, and what are the different different uh, assumptions are there in the project, and what is the budget, what is the risk analysis. Everything will be covered as part of project planning. Okay, so what's next? Next is project designing. So as part of project designing, what they do, they generally design a flowchart of start to end activities and how the branches will be joined with the root. Okay, so they create a uh, complete flowchart and they divide the each branches and different different requirements into piece of co uh, into the piece of requirements, and after that they deliver those piece of requirements or those units of requirements to a develop to the developers. So the next phase is development. So de in development phase, what they do, they uh, receive all the branches or all the branch requirements or, or all the piece requirements from the project designing phase, and developer starts their development. Okay, once the development is done, the testing thing is uh, testing phase occurs. So after the development, what happens? First thing that comes is performed as part of testing is unit testing, where the uh, th where every individual developer check their uh, piece of code is codes that they have coded is working fine. Okay, so as part of testing, they perform different different testing on the given project, and once the testing is done, then uh, the implementation phase will come into the picture. So as part of implementation thing, they'll be deploying the site or they'll be deploying the application on the customers end or the end user. And as part the maintenance, they used to maintain or they used to keep any update. They used to place any update. On the website, and in case of any uh, problem with the software, they used to maintain and fix those issues. Okay, so there are different different STLC models. There are different different software development life cycle, and out of all, waterfall is the most ancient and the main what uh, main STLC model. So the the flow that we discussed here: requirement analysis, then project planning, then project designing, development, testing, implementation, and maintenance is a part of waterfall model only. So this is the sequence in which generally the development team or the uh, any company who works on the software development follows. But over the period of time, there were some different different model that came into the market, and out of which uh, some of them were very popular, like V model, W model, and now the most recent one and most popular is Agile model. Okay, so in the next slide, we'll see that what is W model and what is V model, which was the most famous and mostly used models of STLC model. So what is V model? V model is something where in the shape of in the shape of V, we place the requirements at one side at we place the STLC phases at the different side of the V. So you can see here in this picture where the STLC this is the STLC model, this is the STLC flow, and this side is, it is the STLC flow. So generally, if you talk about then the requirement will uh, flow will be something like going downwards from here, and after this after the coding part it will go again upward in the STLC. Direction, but this is actually not going to happen here. What happens when you're working in the uh, V model 
at the one phase they are planning the requirements they are doing the requirement analysis and at the same time they are planning for the UAT testing product acceptance testing or user acceptance testing so this is just planning and not basically the execution execution will happen in this flow and at the time of planning what are they are what they are doing is they are at the time of requirement analysis they are planning for UAT at the time of specification they are planning for system testing at the plan of planning of low level designing where they are breaking the full flow chart into the piece of uh, into the in, into pieces at that time they will be planning for integration testing and at the time of coding they will be planning for or they will be performing this activity called unit testing so once the coding is done the unit testing will be performed and once unit testing is done then at this time where the pieces were uh, where the requirement was broken into the different different pieces will be integrated and there at this time integration testing will be performed once the integration testing is performed then it will be merged with the whole existing system or whole the requirements will be merged here at the time of uh, at, at this phase which was earlier specification and this will be called system testing and once the system testing is done the UAT will to will come into the picture okay so but there were some limitation of it of this uh, uh, of this model and in, in, in the V model. So later one more fix come here and what was the fix that uh, what was the reason of uh, finding a fix for it was because it was not as accurate to find early bugs in the product because at the time of requirement analysis or at the time of specification if any flaw remains into the uh, document then it used to go into the coding part and the coder develops it and it it used to catch the testers used to catch it on uh, catch it on very later stage so the later de detection of the defects will be m much costier okay so here what they did they implemented one more model or they implemented one more thing and they called it as a w model and the name of that phase the name of that testing will become v and v so what they did they implemented one more v so if you can see here in w there is one v which was the existing v model and they introduced one more v here okay so that is uh, how it became the w model so at the time of requirement analysis what is happening here the tester or the qa person is testing that requirement document that whether all the requirements has it, it is feasible it is matching with the uh, it is quite practical that developer will be able to do so and uh, it is not ambiguous at the time of specification they are again testing that specification document and at the time of designing they are testing the designing uh, QA person is testing the designing document and now the real thing comes into the picture at the time of coding unit testing is done at the time of integration build software is done so at the time of system testing the build system is done and at the time of acceptance testing the installation is done so that is how they covered they introduced one more fix into the V model with one more V and that is how it became W model so that's all in the SDLC model and the uh, V and W models. Later we'll cover the Agile model in a different uh, video because that's quite time-taking video. That will be quite time-taking video. Thanks for watching. Please share. Thanks.